By definition, aquaculture is the culture of plants or animals in water. It is a type of agriculture, yeah, there are, are a lot of similarities. Um, you know, the big difference is instead of using a soil medium, we use water as a medium for growth. Hey Matt, how's hey, it going Brian? today? Good, good, how's Checking everything? Checking oxygen levels? Yeah, I am, just making sure everything's adequate for the fish. Everything looks good? So far, so good. Everything revolves around the water quality itself, and water quality as a whole is a critical component of the growth of the fish. Let me show you over here the control panel real quick. The more we can keep track of it, uh, the better off we are. So all of these are individual parameters that we're looking at, pH, salinity, and this is actually the water level in the tank. This one has both salinity and conductivity? It does, yes. Our monitoring control equipment is state of the art. It allows us to record data. We can keep track of events that have happened. Also allows us to make sure that the product that we have is a high quality product because we have such tight controls over the complete growing environment. When we look at cultivating fish, we look at the water is where everything happens. So what are you doing? First, when we walk up to the system, what we want to do is just take a peek at everything. How's it doing? Make sure that the fish are acting normal. And if the fish are healthy and they're eating the way they should, we should get to a harvest weight within a given period of time that most farmers are looking for. We want to make sure that the fish are healthy. They're doing it because if they're not, we can't get as many fish to harvest. So it's our job to essentially make sure that all the equipment supports the life of fish. How does feed play an important role in understanding water chemistries? Most farmers are looking for the highest protein content to put on the most weight the quickest they can for most of the fish. So we want to make sure that after we feed, we don't see a dip in pH, we're not seeing any alkalinity changes or anything to that effect or the dissolved oxygen. One of the things that we do is, is help people understand the importance of the water quality, what the different water quality parameters are, what range they should be in, how the monitoring control equipment keeps track of that and can help them keep it within those acceptable parameters and even generate alarms when they do go out of, out of range. Today the equipment exists in a much better fashion. It's much more streamlined to do the job effectively for water. The technology that we have available to us today uh, is far, far superior than it was even just 10 years ago. That allows us to have such control over the growing environment that uh, it's, it's really unbeatable.